Hello everyone, today we are still in the ninth chapter down the rabbit hole and it's a very scary hole. <laughs> I'm here in the underground church or whatever this is and I can see <laughs> a giant shadow of a few spiders. Holy crap, this is really scary. <laughs> Especially when it involves these uh, creatures. Hi! Well, and um, well, I think we suppose we need to listen to the flies once again. If you've watched my previous episode, um, we've been through this once and I'm here in another room. This seems to be like some sort of... Um, how can I say this? Uh, maybe an interpretation of or a copy, a scary copy of Daniel's house. Okay, down here. Uh, so we found out that Daniel is even more terrible than we thought. Okay, and it looks like Ida is not um, really his wife anymore. Actually, uh, I think they they were divorced at this point because it seems that Ida has a boyfriend. And um, it really looks like that um, Daniel really treated his family like crap. And I think either left him for another guy. And uh, uh, Daniel even called him a terrible name. So really, you know, Stella, that is Daniel's daughter, doesn't want to be with his father for a good reason. And um, the angel of remorse, that is this black-haired girl, uh, probably is going to be on this side of the flies again. N not sure, but let's listen to the flies now. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but Daniel likes the pain. It doesn't look hungry anymore. Oh. I think the amulet is now inactive. Yes, this used to be in like a, a blue color. We cannot feed the flies. I I'm sorry, you're gonna be like that. Uh, it doesn't look angry anymore. Okay, it's not working. Uh, we have a bunch. Of, uh, well, the spiders are useless. They are not eating the flies. Uh, so. Guess we need to go somewhere else. Ah, there's a spoon. There is a spoon and um, a knife. Well, at this point, I'm going back to the same places I've been before. <laughs> and this, um, in the previous episode, I remember to put here the amulet and they didn't, it just didn't work either. So, let's try again, but it's not gonna work. Oh, wait, it's going to work this time? Oh, I'm just releasing the flies. Oh, achievement unlocked. Now it worked. Okay, interesting. I cannot pass through. So now let's get back to those flies, listen to them, come back here. And... Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. I don't like this. This is not the right place. All I can tell you is that there is... There should be... Oh, this path is blocked. There should be like a, an angry... An angry... Huge beast on the top of this place. Okay. Above the ground. And it's coming for me. Or for Daniel, actually. Down here? Yeah. So this place seems to be shutting. At bits. Okay, 
there it is. <laughs> I easily get lost in these spaces. Right. Now it works. You like it, Daniel. You like the pain. You're gonna love it. You know how beautiful it is there. Sure, What's know, cooking? All our friends are here. Also, there are no jobs there. Everyone is moving out. She's not the using the knife. When do you want to move? What? January. <laughs> That's bullshit. There's no way I can get everything ready in just two months. Well, you'll have to, because I already sold this place. You did what? Are you deaf? I told you, I sold this place. We're moving. You sold it and didn't even ask me? I bought it and I sold it. Then I got us a new place in the north. Who the fuck do you think you are? There is no way that I... that we are going there with you. I'm moving with you or without you. It's your call. I don't care. We are not moving to the north. Not in a million years. For all I care, you can sleep under a bridge and take that useless brat with you. You will not speak about my daughter like that. And you better shut the fuck up. Or... Don't push it, Ida. Oh, really? And what would you do? Bring your blonde... Oh. Crap. <laughs> I hope you're happy with how well you handled all these annoying little moments with your wife. And how you even managed to conceal the real reason why you had to move. Well done, Daniel. Anyway... After that night, you all moved to the north. Since you are such an excellent negotiator, you've truly earned your way back. Not the best memories, Daniel. <laughs> Okay, a new decrypted page to read. Uh, I don't feel really comfortable with the... Well, the spiders are on the other side. That makes me feel more comfortable, but still... Holy crap. <laughs> okay, let's read the decrypted page. I was trying to press E, but I didn't go on time, so... Okay, it's here. Okay, some text. So I've already read this one before. <laughs> July 14. Uh, those fuckers. I'm so pissed off. I can't even write properly. Today we used our free afternoon time to visit the water station. The creepy guard must have figured out that someone was inside yesterday and locked off the scaffolding. After the dis after discovering the key, we managed to climb up the window. Then Molo and his freaks appeared. Those idiots took the scaffolding away and had a good laugh about it. It was total hell getting out of there. We managed to escape through an, and an, an underground tunnel, meaning we waited for ages through horrible stinking sludge. I'll, I'll never feel clean again. It'll be nice uh, to get back at Molo, but life just doesn't work out just doesn't work out like that. We have to shut up and maybe just maybe he won't tell father. Alex is really exhausted and I hope he still wants to be with me. Okay, so this is part of what also Daniel and I had to be through a couple of episodes ago down in the power plant, okay, on the underground. A sewer, so someone really removed the scaffolding and I cannot go back through the window I got a true uh, uh, to the power plant building so I had to go through the underground where I almost drowned actually and went through the same hole uh, Alex and Stella did to escape through the place alright and yes it's uh, really smelled really bad down there, I suppose. <laughs> it was an asshole to get out of there. This table was the site of Ida's endless bickering. <laughs> 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 
After I told Ida about my relocation plans, I was lucky this knife didn't end up in my ribs. Probably chilled, Daniel. But, you know, Ida still had some feelings. So consider yourself lucky. You're having other type of judgment. Right, let's go back to the flies. Um, yeah, if I can pass through somewhere. It's not through here, actually. I suppose it's not through here. But we still go through here because um, I don't have many more places to go. What is this? Looks like a piece of meat. Oh, uh, it's like actually pieces of dolls just scattered everywhere. And this is where actually I uh, first came from. I should actually go back to where the um, the amulets are to just put the flies on, and uh, not the amulets, the sockets. This is the last place I'd expect to find garbage. There is a walkie-talkie and a doll with story to tell. I suppose let's read it. And another one. Yeah, okay, so bedtime story. A few more things to read. Filled with hatred, the king cursed his daughter as he didn't fulfill the promise which he has given to the devil. He called up in his teeth and galloped in the direction where he thought the girl was fled. The forest around him grew deeper and denser and suddenly he found himself entirely disoriented and lost somewhere in the middle of the deep and dark woods. When he thought that all is lost, the king turned up to the sky and screamed at the top of his lungs, holding the amulet in his left hand. In this horrible shriek pierced in the sky, a black raven suddenly appeared, circling around the king's head. The king called and at the raven. You have to tell me where the daughter is. The raven pointed its wing towards the direction where the princess ran. The king followed the direction and whenever he lost the way, he called upon the raven that showed him the right way. Hmm, okay. So I've read bits of this story in some of the previous episodes, just in case you are not following my series. I advise you to do. <laughs> um, oh, spider. Okay, let's move. Low battery. Hello? What? Who's there? What was that? Very odd. see anything. Uh, Daniel, hello. Okay. One moment. Should I uh, keep proceeding or should I go back? Because I want to use the um, the amulet. Oh, I'm back here again. So this is this just goes around in circles. Right. <laughs> So let's go back there.
It's here, <laughs> alright. Exactly the place I want to go. <sighs> no, all I want to go is back home, but... Looks like the Nels home is really destroyed. Alright, one more. There should be more flies to listen to somewhere. So we are down here, if I go up, I just end to go... Anyway, let's go up. I've been here before. <laughs> and I'm here again. <laughs> okay. Beast is passing through again. I suppose blocking another passage. The worst thing is that maybe I have to face it sometime. I sense that will happen, I don't know. <laughs> this is a blind gameplay, don't forget about it, I have no idea what can happen next. And that's the most exciting part of this gameplay, I guess. So, yeah. I'm just walking around in circles. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm here? Um, what is this? Okay, there are the doll parts here. Again, bits of... I know this sound. It's a baby monitor. We bought one when Stella was born. Bits of Daniel's house. Let's open this and see what terrible things are behind this door. Okay, flies. Let's do this. More pain, Daniel. All for you. Stella's bedroom, I suppose. Do you even care how expensive those were? Do you think I just shit money? I'm sorry, Daddy. I just tripped. I didn't mean to. Tripped? How about you try to be, at least once in your life, useful? Everything you ever touch breaks or spills or... So what happened, Daniel? Did your little Stella kill someone? And we meet I again, lady. I don't even understand why you want me to see this. Hmm, let me refresh your memory. On that very day, two wine glasses silently stood on the table. You might even remember when Ida brought them home from Ikea. When Stella tripped, those glasses, which must have been oh so expensive, fell down to the ground and <gasps> shattered. And? You sent her to bed. And I am sure you want to know what happened next. Daddy, please don't do that. Why not? Maybe now you'll learn what losing something important feels like. And it's the only thing Grandma left me. Take all my toys, just please. Please don't take my doll. Not gonna happen. This is the only way to teach you. Oh, really? So, you took the doll, went outside, tore it up, and threw it into the trash. You must have been really happy with yourself. I bet little Stella finally understood how to appreciate things, right? And that's all for now. Ta! You mean asshole?
that's why we've seen the dull parts around here and that all was important to Stella and it was an accident you know it happens it should be more understanding so that's why this doll means so much around these places the one that he threw in the trash was so important to Stella back then and he threw it in the trash over an accident because Daniel doesn't cheat money of course and you know it happens of course it's normal to be upset over something that just got broken but she tripped it happens she didn't break them on purpose but as he is a crappy father he just had to do that he could have sent her to bed but not like having this poor attitude towards her no wonder why she wanted to leave home okay dolls dolls and more dolls This girlish stuff was more Ida than Stella. Ida always tried to project her failed dreams into Stella's room. The result being this inconsistent mess of cheap IKEA furniture. So now we should go back to the place where we need to put the amulet on. <laughs> and should be the last one before we can really cross that floating bridge. We can go through here. Okay. It doesn't look really stable, but I can pretty much clock clearly. Like Daniel's life. Yeah. Shut it. Before we get killed. What is this? It's really the inner side of the pub. It's too noisy. Oh! The beast! What? The beast caught me. Holy crap! Taking photos. Most important thing. Taking photos. What have you done to my daughter? You can kill me. But please, let her go. <laughs> no! <laughs> well... <laughs> You're getting what you deserve. <laughs> well, um... Yeah! Holy crap! What? <laughs> this is not what I expected. Hey! Oh, there she is again. Stay away from me. So, this is all your this fault. Is it. Stop. 
I'm finally dead. Right? I cannot move. Took him quite a few tries to get me. Tell me, Daniel. How have you found Stella? Stella? Oh. Right. My daughter. I went to the woods looking for her. It was <laughs> such a long time ago. And have you found her? I don't think so. It was Leah. This little girl. Or was she a doll called Rosie? I don't know. Stripping. Maybe she was Stella. And I just didn't recognize her. It doesn't even know anyone. woman, Eleonora. Something got to her. And she jumped off the cliff. Or maybe she was just another figment of my imagination. Look into your heart. Do you think she was real? I wish she was. But somehow, nobody I've met in these woods feels real. And that includes you. And you, Daniel. Are you real? Yeah. It doesn't matter now, does it? At least I no longer need to fight for my life. Your story is not over yet. You will return one more time. It's up to you what you do with your last chance. Be careful. The beast is closer to you than you think. Oh. And that's what really keeps you from finding your daughter. That's some player witch kind of thing. What the hell are you doing? Keep that away from me. That's so creepy. Oh no, what? Keep those old lady hands away from me. What is this woman doing here? Probably this was just a whole creepy nightmare and I've been down here all the time. And this <sighs> woman just found me. I really didn't want to return here. She should have let me die in peace. So... Are you awake or not? Come here right now, boy. <laughs> Kill me now. The hag is back. <laughs> so I'm back to the hoods and achievement unlocked from the new world. Chapter 10, last chance. So we are in the new chapter. Ah, some fresh hair, sort of. I can smell the old lady. Yeah. What were you thinking? This was such a beautiful place before you ruined it. Is this how you found those helping you? Now, listen to me carefully. <laughs> After you destroyed... Hold it right there. What exactly have I destroyed? You want to know? Why don't you see for yourself? Take your backpack and follow me. Maybe even you can understand. <laughs> okay, here we go. Better I walk instead of running. Otherwise she loses track of me. Know that you and your beast are both tied to this land. When you first came here, I knew that a large disturbance would follow. Yet even I did not know how devastating the change would be. Listen, I'm the one being hunted, and if it wasn't for your curse, I'd already be safely home with my daughter. You really think so? <laughs> you were such a hopeless child. Have you forgotten that you're the one who promised you would never return to this place? I did. I just can't remember why. Can't remember? Or don't want to remember? <laughs> Those are two entirely different things, Daniel. I'm just pushing the old lady. This is... Wanting to what give her a hand, you? so a helping her. A long time ago, there was a little girl named Slavyena. Slavyena. Sweet, beautiful, but as it often goes, her parents died when she was very young. She was raised by her uncle, who didn't care 
care much for her as she saw her as nothing but a maid. The work was hard, but that wasn't the worst part for Slaviana. Day by day she was reprimanded for even the tiniest of things. No matter how hard she tried, there was no love for her, and she had no hope that her situation would ever change. One day, she had enough and ran away far into the woods. The night had fallen and the full moon appeared in the sky, accompanied by the howls of a nearby pack of wolves. She struggled to get away, but eventually she slipped and ended at the bottom of a crevice path blocked by huge rocks on all sides. Exhausted, she collapsed on the ground and prayed to the goddess Vesner to have mercy on her and relieve her from her pain. As she was singing her prayer, tears started to roll down her eyes, forming a little pond on the ground. Finally, the goddess heard her calls, and as the ground around her opened, Water started to pour out, mixing with Slavjener's tears to form a river. Slavjener was gently carried away until she drowned in her own tears, finally free from her sorrow. You see, all these stories, no matter how ancient or new, are all the same one told Whoa. again and again. Lady, rest. It was too much for you. Go up there and have a look at what remains of the land. Then come back here to me. Well, by the noises, I can and the looks, I can see that this is extremely destroyed. Everything is corrupted. Yeah, no wonder why she is really mad at me. <laughs> New location discovered. Desolated land. Yeah. I don't understand. Where the hell are we? What this has become because of you, Daniel. It's all your fault. If for the cryptid page. Alright, so I'm gonna read this before we end this episode. July 17. I'm feeling very anxious. Here I am back at camp and Alex is still not here. I casually asked father, father if he was coming and he told me that Alex should be here in a few days. This will be happy news, except I know I'm probably just bullshitting myself. I know something changed for him a while back because he suddenly stopped writing. Whatever his problem is, it won't magically disappear just because we're both, we're both back here. I wish I had never met him. Oh well. Okay, we are staying here today. Because the old lady needs to rest and then likely she may have a few words for me next episode, I don't know. But whoa, this was pretty intense. <laughs> so I'm back to life, yay! <laughs> uh, so we have uh, probably a couple more chapters to play, likely. And I fear that I may have to venture myself around this place, I don't know. But anyway... Thank you so much for watching. For watching, don't miss the next episodes. <laughs> Please, <laughs> see you later, alligator. <laughs> well, finally, we were really close, and we were too close to the beast. So close that it, it just kind of killed Daniel. But eventually, it, it was it was just a nightmare, was it?